That's right, boys. This is the core podcast. My room is a mess. I'm sorry. Um, and actually, my hair is god awful. Don't know why. Um, but I promised you guys the core today. So I don't care if my hair looks like a potato. We're rolling with it because I promised you guys. Alan has my knee. Uh, I promised you guys the core, and I am going to deliver. So, I have nothing really to talk about, so I guess we're going to be talking about a few tech things, um, furries, and religion, um, as the title states. Um, the reason I'm so small and I have to make sure that I'm in frame, uh, is because, uh, up in the corner, over, um, there, up, uh, there, over there, um, is, like, if anyone donates, or if Twitch chat is talking. Now, I am streaming across all platforms to my YouTube channel, Hitbox, and, um, Twitch. Now, I will be straightforward and say that I'm only gonna be paying attention to Twitch for the core vodcast, um, and YouTube is actually yelling at me right now, saying that the, um, uh, keyframes are set to 5.8 seconds, and this is not my fault, actually. I am using a program, uh, called joycaster.co. We're gonna see how it works, and if it works really well, I'm actually gonna start using it. Um, because... Why not? Uh, because I tried restream, and... It is god-awful. I would not recommend it. Uh, it drops frames like crazy. While I was just staring at my desktop and streaming my desktop to two services, which was um, Twitch and YouTube, uh, it had dropped, what was it, 16 frames, I think? Um, so there is that. So I'm going to bring up live chat beta. It's um, part of the joycaster program um but i sadly will not um i won't really be able to interact with you guys that much unless you guys talk in twitch chat um which as i was mentioning before um up there is um donations followers subscribers all of that good jazz is up there in that corner down here is where twitch chat is gonna be and i'm getting notifications probably about me going live yep uh hitbox just detected that i went live and captain sparkles sent out a video but the um the point here is i just kind of want to sit down and talk to you guys um make it like a core podcast like it was um so let's go ahead and uh just again i am going completely i don't have a script i don't have anything this is just raw okay so um i was watching linus tech tips um and this morning, uh, he posted the WAN show, um, or the WAN show recording. Um, he posted that this morning for, obviously, his Saturday video. And they were talking about the um, Tesla Model 3. Okay? And I have mixed feelings about the Tesla Model 3. First of all, I want one, but I can't afford one because I'm broke. Um, second of all, the Tesla Model 3 looks really good, um, so, and chat relay services are offline, but, um, wow, a lot of people on, uh, Twitch and, uh, Twitter... <laughs> already reposting and liking my my uh stuff so thank you guys um there will be a few second delay i do want to make that very uh very uh plain uh to know 
there is a lot of delay. Let me just tell you that. There's, I think, maybe th up to 30 seconds of a delay from when I say something or do something to when Twitch chat will actually see it and will be able to respond. So if you say something in Twitch chat, don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. I just haven't actually received it yet. Sorry. Uh, it's just how this program works. I wish that it worked differently. I didn't write it. Um, the people over at Joycaster did. No idea. <laughs> um, but the point is... Tesla Model 3. Um, great car. It looks really cool. Um, although I have to agree with Linus's point about the grill. Let me uh, see if I can bring up a picture of it. Um, sorry for uh, wobble cam. Uh, Tesla Model 3. There we go. Images. Oh, also, by the way, um, 232,000 pre-orders. That is, um, let me do some math right here. Um, 1,000 times 23200. Oh, one more zero. That is $232 million. I probably could have done that in my head, but I was too lazy to. Um, but yes, let's go and look at images, man. Um, and I will bring up screen capture. Yeah. Okay, so the Tesla Model 3 um, apparently has this plain grill or this grillless front. Which I don't think. Yeah, that's the Tesla Model S. Um, and something that they were mentioning about the, um, the Tesla Model 3 right back here is the fact that it is all... Um, oh, 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 there. Okay. Um, let's make sure that doesn't come back up. Okay. Hey, we, we have kinks to work out, man. This is the first actual episode of the core. And yes, I am very washed out. I'm sorry. Uh, can I fix that? No, I cannot. Um... No, I don't think there's any way to fix that because uh, of the lighting that I'm using. Maybe that? No, that made it worse. Um, there? Hey, that actually worked! That's good! That's great! Anyway, um... So, yeah. Uh... Where was I? Oh, okay. Um, the, uh, all-in-one... Uh, sheet of glass that I think is actually a great idea especially if they use the Corning um, windshield um, that was released or re uh, um, revealed revealed availed anyway it was released and announced um, back in 2014 or 2013 I can't remember um, when the Mythbusters uh, were uh, brought in to demonstrate it and like it was a big deal um, because it was the glass revolution but we hadn't heard anything about it so if Corning is behind this Gorilla Glass like type of windshield that's gonna be cool because I mean I don't know if you've seen the demonstration let me see if I can get it up for you guys um, and I don't, I'm not going to play that much because I don't want to get a copyright strike because God knows those are going around. Um, uh, um, uh, glass generation. Um, no, um, myth. Uh, stirs. There we go. Darn it. There we go. Okay. Here it is. Um. Let me see if it's 
in this video. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Um, so it's in this one. Glass Age Episode 2. So let me uh, just bring this up to you guys. Um, Demonstrated the rapid cooling method. No, instead. Mm, can we do a screen cap? There we go. So this is the demonstration about um, the uh, corning um, gorilla glass for the cars and how it would um, repel bullets. This, I believe, is the original one, and uh, they shoot it, and yeah, this is the original one. They shoot it, it's, it actually busts through. However, this is the Corning one. So it's very sturdy. And it still has the two sheets of, um, gor like, gorilla glass, kind of, and then one of just regular glass in the center. So, there we go. And wow, lots of people liking that stuff. That is cool. So... Let's watch him shoot that with an airsoft uh, gun. And that's the first one without the Corning Gorilla Glass. Yeah, this is what's known as soda lime, obviously, right there. And it shatters, so it's dangerous. But, uh, let's speed it up a little bit. And then there's the corn and gorilla glass one. It just shatters the first layer. It doesn't go in through the second layer. And it's perfectly like what uh, he just done was he actually touched it. And it's perfectly fine. So, if it's this type of glass, um, then that's something to uh, marvel at because this type of glass would be able to sustain if the car actually flipped. It would be able to sustain its, um, its, like, function as glass, but also to protect the user. Like, that, that, I think, is the coolest part, is that if it is using this, it's pretty damn cool. Um, so, with that out of the way, uh, hey Derek, how's it going? I didn't see the chat message come up. Oh, because I was probably ranting on about that stuff over there. Um, but yeah, so tech stuff. I mean, I'm a tech company, so, you know, that'd be nice to talk about. Um, there is a few things in the works right now. I don't really want to talk about them. Um, Derek, if you want to message me on Facebook, the offer is still open. I know that you have your job at Walmart, but I am still offering you um, the job because I can see that you're watching right now. I am still offering you the job that I did a while back. But the point is that there is something really cool and I have this business model. However... No one wants to talk to me about it because I'm a kid. I'm an 18 year old kid. Um, so I'm actually thinking about talking to one of my friends who uh, went to the same career tech school that I did. Um, and his name was Dalton. 
and he was the biggest salesperson that I could ever have met. Like, he is the best person. And I'm pretty sure that's why one of the times we actually won um, state, or at least got as high as we did um, in our Business Professionals of America tournament, uh, was because of Dalton, who actually was really charismatic I mean, I can be kind of charismatic, but I don't want to... I can sometimes be a little crude if you've ever watched my videos before this. So, um, yeah, there's um, a complete redesign of the Infinity Project coming. I don't really want to... Uh... Oh, that's cool, Derek. That is awesome. I I would actually like to work uh, with you guys, but you know, you know my situation. Um, but the uh, the fact is that the Infinity Project is still working. Um, I just like I have my business licenses now, um, but it's just got to get all of that uh, good good actual design and marketing out to the people plus I'm pretty sure that we are going to become an official LLC um, meaning that I'm going to become incorporated and actually go out and uh, get uh, sponsors um, through a startup program called start or on start I think um, is what it's called. I can't remember. It's what uh, Captain Sparkles or Jordan Marin um, used for his company, X Real, um, who creates the game, if you don't know, um, uh, Fortress Fury. So, yeah. I'm going to be using that program, hoping that I can bring in enough money to convince companies um, that the business model is a good one and if it actually takes off it could bring poverty in America to a halt because anyone would be able to work I'll probably explain it later in another episode of the core but yeah um so let's get the uh, uh, the uh, other thing out of the way the one at, all the way at the end Almost worse than politics to talk about. Um, religion. Okay, I don't like talking about it at all, but here I am talking about it. And the reason that I'm talking about it is the fact that a lot of people on YouTube have been complaining about different religions, how you can literally create a religion and or join every single religion to avoid working at work. This has been a thing that actually is... I have seen it happen. Um, and it's kind of BS. Um, but at the same time, I understand um, why people are getting salty about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can be their own religion. Um, I mean, to be honest, Confucius... Um, and if you didn't know, Confucius was like an old, like, philosopher. Um, he said, I believe it was Confucius. I'm pretty sure it was Confucius. Confucius. Uh, he said that my mind is a temple for my body. And that actually makes so much sense because if you think about something long enough, you believe in it, you become it. But I've been recently, uh, the reason I want to address this is because of um, people who believe in creationism, or creationism, my bad. Um, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm just saying you're wrong, okay? I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm just saying you're wrong. Um, as Voltaire said, I don't like what you're saying. But I will fight to the death to, you know, fight for your right to say it. Um, you know, I, I will gladly say that I believe in, you know, the whole fact that 
the Big Bang happened, but I don't think it's happening or happened how the scientists thought it happened. But that's, again, maybe for later in this episode, actually. Um, but the thing with creationalist is that they hide behind the Bible. And I know I'm going to get a lot of salty people who say, well, that's, you know, it's written by God. Which it's not. It actually is not. It is written millions of years ago, or thousands of years ago. My bad. Um, thousands of years ago by monks who, quote unquote, were in contact with God. Which, if you actually think about it, sometimes if you are high <laughs> or have opium trip outs, if you read history lessons, that shit happened. You would be communicating with God. It's a trip out. So, obviously... Yeah, honestly, and Derek, when, once we get to that, I would love to hear it. I really would. Um, but right now, I'm on a rant. <laughs> um, so, like, creationists believe that that book is their be-all, end-all. So the problem with that is that there's no room for accepting other theories. So, I've been watching, um, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, versus, um, Ken Ham, who Ken Ham and his belief and his followers, um, believe that, um, very heavily in the whole fact that the world is only 6,000 years old. So, it's during his arguments, which, yes, it was two years ago that this this debate happened, but... Um... But, um... You know, the thing is that creationalism... It doesn't matter if you believe in what is in that book or if you believe what someone tells you if you can't physically prove it with known science or whatever you are just saying your opinion which honestly that's what every religion is is their opinion i mean my religion and again i don't usually talk about this i don't know if derek who's in the audience right now knows about this um but i believe in an ancient um North American Indian uh, religion um, where a white wolf a white wolfess goddess is um, the hierarchy and she and all of your ancestors protect you and once you pass on you become a soul that protects your further um, your ancestry further on um, so, I think that's interesting, um, how I believe in that, but someone else can have a completely different belief. I mean, hello, the Pastafarians! Who knows what they think? Like, seriously, what is going through their mind? I don't know, I don't care. Um, but the point is that... People can have their own beliefs, but they are always just an opinion. They aren't fact unless proven so i don't get why people get so deep into religion and what it means to them because it doesn't matter what it means to you because it doesn't mean the same thing to me i mean two catholics sitting side by side can still have separate views they may still believe the whole fact oh you have to be married to have sex you have to, you can't just have sex to have fun. You have to have sex to have children. And there's that stuff. But the fact is that it doesn't matter. 
Because each one of their mindsets believe in a different thing and a different being as God. What that person is, I don't know. Again, it, it could be the flying spaghetti monster. Don't know. Don't care. But the fact is that it's people's opinions. And that is something that I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while. And that's what the core is about, is just talking. Just talking. So, Derek, I look at you now and ask you what your creationist theory is. Well, not creationist, but what your theory on how the Earth became a thing. I want to hear it, because my theory is that we are just an asteroid from another planet that the sun was the core. More at 11. But seriously, uh, Derek, your thoughts. And we wait because of the lag. Oh, uh, everyone says I believe in God. Well, I believe in what I see. So when I see God, I will believe in that is one of the most true and smart statements I have seen to date. So, Derek, you win the award for the most blunt genius person I have ever met. Congratulations. And sadly, you just get a virtual pat in the back because you're, you know, 10 miles away. But, yeah. Anyway, the, 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 like the, I hate the fact that because I'm streaming to a bunch of different places, there's so many, like, there's so much lag. It's actually kind of painful thinking about it and feeling it because I have to sit here and wait and wait and wait. <laughs> until it comes up so yeah and I love how OBS is like kilobits per second oh you set me to 2500 kilobits per second well I guess I'm just gonna go 27 2900 kilobits per second I didn't know that I set you that that way but I guess you're the boss um but yeah Steric's taking a little while let me uh let me do some food for thought for you guys what if the sun was the core of one planet and all of the planets around it now was just parts of that one planet and just debris and dust came together to create an atmosphere that created gravity and so on and so forth what if i have no proof i'm actually thinking about uh emailing bill Nye because he does bill uh questions with bill on tuesdays um but the fact is that that would be an interesting thing. What if every solar system around us was part of a bigger solar system? And there were people like the Forerunners in Halo or um, uh, like before the Reapers happened, the Prom the Prometheans, not not Prometheans. Um, right? Is it Prometheans? No, that's um from Halo. Um, Protheans. That's right, the Protheans. What if it's like the Protheans from uh, uh, Mass Effect? I mean, you would never know because all that science has proven is that there is an echo in space using giant satellites to scan for this radioactive uh, interference that's all that we are seeing is that interference we don't know 
if there's actually something out there, if there was something before us. So that's some really good food for thought. Because what happens if it really is not, um, like, really, really is not what we think it was? Like, what if all of our science has been leading up to the point of us learning that we are just kind of like echoes in our footsteps? What happens? Like, what do we do then? So, that it's definitely interesting to think about. Um, oh, and I want to thank... Um, before I forget about it, um, ba -dum -bum -bum, ba -dum -bum -bum, ba -dum bum bum ba -dum bum ba -dum bum bum I want to thank Journey YouTube on Hitbox for, um, hosting, uh, a stream, uh, dedicated to this. So thank you, Journey YT, for hosting while you are away. Uh, thank you again. And Derek posted, um, I have many different ways. Uh, I have many different ways Earth became a thing. Like we have no real way to tell how long the Earth has been here, or if the Earth is what people say it is. Uh, people can believe that Earth was hit by an asteroid. How can we even tell that? Uh, how does science? How uh, how do scientists know that? Uh, what proof do they have? And I believe that NASA is keeping information that they that they find. That last part is very true. You again get an award for that. Um, although that is one of those that's um, uh, one of those no shit Dick Tracy things. Um, sadly, NASA is part of the government. Meaning that they have to hide it for whatever reason. We literally could be standing beside an alien. Science, uh, what if all these years science has lied to us to uh, think that we are uh, uh, the aliens or a form of something? Yeah, I mean, that's actually where I was about ready to go. Um... But yeah, like, science, it has been proven that science is lying to us. I mean, look at any, I mean, any, okay, any. Look at any, um, like, FBI report from the time, um, from the recent archives that were released. They all have little snippets of alien information, but data before or after has been redacted. What if aliens are really people and we are the aliens? Damn, son! Damn! That is really deep, and I don't know. Um, that is actually good... That's, like, how do you tell what an alien is? I mean, as Henry would say, an alien is anything that isn't us. Isn't human. So technically, that snail that's outside your front door right now, Derek, is an alien. I don't know if that's true, but Henry isn't here to confirm or deny that. Honestly, I think that Henry is an alien, but that's besides the point. He could be an alien in disguise and no one would know and no one would question it. <laughs> he actually came in once and said, um, Derek probably remembers this. He said, if I put a plotted, a potted plant here, no one would recognize that I wasn't there. Maybe that aliens were here first and us people were created second. And that kind of goes along with my um, original theory of like what happens if the Big Bang was us being part of a bigger galaxy. 
like that would actually be interesting like somehow all of the cores um or even better because we don't really know what our core is made out of the mantle of our uh of our earth so what if a catastrophic black hole event occurred because of instant teleportation between each of the planets in the larger solar system caused each one of the planets to blow up, creating uh, each one of their solar systems. Like, we can sit here and guess at this for days. No one will be able to tell us. Ever. Ever. We will never know the truth. Because science believes, or the government, the United States government believes that we are not ready. Oh yeah, there has to be a fourth dimension. I mean... Time, space, um, what is it? Distance, or light and dark. That's right. Time, space, light, and dark. That's the four dimensions. They've proven three of them. And darkness is almost there. I mean, you can't tell me that the actual, like, science between, like, behind Doctor Who is not real you can't tell me that shit because it's not a wormhole that he's traveling through it is um around a wormhole i can't remember what it's exactly called um it's like a coil effect where if you go around it you can effectively travel anywhere in time at any speed meaning that you could take a year to get to the past in 1812 or again anyway um here's a question for you do you believe that there is a parallel universe yes i believe in the parallel universe paradox thing where like for example i pick up this glass of water in the uter in another paradox i wouldn't be explaining this i'd be drinking it however in another paradox my hand would accidentally slip and i would drop the glass and have to end the stream maybe because i cut myself but if i didn't cut myself then there would be two more paradoxes of me maybe not stopping the stream continuing maybe going to the brb screen and then cleaning it up um, or not going to the BRB screen, cleaning it up, and then continuing with the stream, or stopping the stream, cleaning it up, or <laughs> just ignoring it and going on with the stream. Maybe even having my leg cut open. Each choice that we do creates a separate counter choice. And every choice that that choice makes, makes another choice. And so on and so forth. That then creates a million paradoxes around us, and then the one that we choose was already laid out for us. So we are only given the illusion of choice. How's that answer for you? <laughs> God, I love time! Space-time continuums. Quantum theory? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Saying, uh... <laughs> you want to talk uh, quantum theory, boy? Let's go! <laughs> There's four almost proven theories, which is that there will always be an action and a counteraction for every time paradox. Secondly, the grandfather paradox. If you kill yourself in the past, you will not live in the present. 
or you won't live in the past as yourself. Third, there is the time paradox of um, relativity, which means that anything that happens in um, now can't be changed in the past, um, which scientists believe in fully. However, the other two and the fourth one is um, kind of starting to slip into um, the government a little bit as far as science goes. Um, but the fourth one is the uh, paradox that everything that we do is either chosen for us or has already been laid out in a master plan. So there's a fifth one, but I can't remember what it is. Um, and also it's not really recognized. There's up to eight, but I can't remember them and they also aren't really recognized. Like the four main ones are the ones where we currently believe that time cannot be changed if you go back or go into the future. Um, the second one is that, you know, uh, if you step on a butterfly, it changes the whole uh, time. Uh, then you have your time paradoxes where, you know, everything um, has a counter option or another option. Um, and then the fourth one, which I've already forgotten. Yeah. I think it's where time is completely malleable. And, oh, no, it's the, yeah, wait. Oh, yeah, it's the grandfather effect. That's right. So fourth is grandfather effect. So butterfly effect, um, the paradox effect, um, the grandfather effect, and um, mm, mm, the current one um, that nothing changes. Anyway, yeah. Yep. I would tell you the other uh, four. Yeah, four. Um, but honestly, I really don't know them. Henry, again, Henry would know them. Henry would know every single one of them. He would be able to correct me if I was wrong. Like, Derek, if you can get a hold of him and get him in this uh, conversation, we may have actually a, a full show here um, without having to go into the third topic. Because <laughs> I kind of don't want to touch that. Because uh, I know that it's going to get a lot of hate when I upload it to YouTube. Um, but yeah. So. I need to get sponsors for this video. Or for this series. I mean, I have my sponsors on, um, my site. So I guess I could just choose. Hey, man. Um, if you can get Henry to log into, um, Skype. We can do a group chat, and we all can uh, do it together. Uh, he just has to, you know, obviously agree to it and stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, who is it sponsored by today? Um, oh, yes. Okay. Alright, so we are being sponsored today by Namecheap, because I can choose them. Uh, if you sign up at the link on wolfboytech.org slash help us grow, or just go to wolfboytech.org and hit help us grow, hit the banner image, or sorry, not the banner image, hit the sign up, and you will be taken to Namecheap, a wonderful, wonderful, pretty much do what you want how you want without any compromises meaning that they literally do everything and just let you go they don't bug you with upgrades like GoDaddy or one in one where if you don't have that that means that you don't want it they don't upsell you or even whatever um plans start at only 298 for a com domain if it's available and um, there are deals going around right now, and I can tell you .orgs, if you are buying one, it is eleven forty-eight in comparison to other sites that will charge you upwards to $50. So again, 
Sign up at wolfboytech.org forward slash help dash us dash grow and it's at the bottom of the page and just hit sign up. So I'll get an actual link sometime uh, but for right now that'll work. So back to the conversation at hand. Um, but yeah you get Derek in uh, or you get Henry to agree to do a stream with us. Okay. And that I can upload it. Like, I, I want a written confirmation of that. <laughs> because I don't want to have another Merlin accident on my hands. Because that was not fun, working with Merlin. I had to remove a video, and it was kind of cool, actually. Because I think I got... I think I got a triple kill in League and no deaths and I had to and I had to take it down but so I don't know if Derek is typing so I don't want to move on to the next topic because I kind of want to touch it um, but I don't really want to touch it um, so I'll touch on another sponsor later on um, because I have to um, and stuff. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Again, if you are watching on YouTube, Hitbox, or any other stream that I, is not Twitch, I am not watching the um, the streams. I am not watching the chats. You will have to come over to twitch.tv forward slash WB Master Chief. Um, that is where the party is. Go ahead and hit the follow button, and I will even give you a shout out because if you follow, uh, it pops up in the corner up there. Um, so, dedicated spot for it. Um, but yeah, just a little. Uh, self-promotion there anyway um so i don't know if uh derek is typing a uh, mile again or uh if we are just going forward um but i do i do want to agree on the point that um uh people believe that Earth was hit on by an asteroid, um, but how do you even tell that? You can't really tell that. Um, like, you can't really tell that. I'm sure that there is some method of telling that. And, uh, chapstick, because dry lips. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, um, back to the technology stuff, actually. Um, I'm going to be releasing, uh, starting this Monday, videos about, um, how to repair computers. But it's going to be very stupid to those of you who... Uh, actually know how to repair a computer because it is meant for the people who use test out PC Pro um, Because that is really a bad program and no one should ever have to use it ever like ever ever um, so I Go on rants in the first couple episodes, but then I actually get used to it and break it in and I think that it's going to upload on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then Thursdays will probably be uh, gaming content. And I'm going to try and start streaming every single day. Um, but it's really hard with all of the schoolwork that I have because I'm in college and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just dive. Oh, uh, back to the religion thing. Two things that you don't talk about in public. Religion and politics. Why not sex? Why is that socially acceptable, but religion and politics aren't? 
I want to know that in chat tell me right now why that is acceptable okay but going on um, about videos that are coming soon teasing them so that you guys will go subscribe um, to um, now 30 subscribers 31 subscribers my bad 31 subscribers 31 subscribers I love it um but on uh my youtube channel youtube.com forward slash wolfboy network it is essentially going to be a video that tells you why you should vote for bernie sanders this is coming this week um because i want to upload it before I mean, the primaries, I think, are next week for one state, and oh my god. Like, it's horrible, to be honest. I hate American politics. Um, but why you, as a person, if you are over 18, or 18 or over, and you live in America, and you have registered to vote, and you are a Democrat, if you still have time, why you should vote for socialism what socialism is and all of that good jazz so if you want to see the shitstorm in the comments section of that video be sure to subscribe for that one that will be coming very soon all right so it seems like derek is not typing um so i am going to go ahead and go into the next topic which is very dear to my heart because I am one and by the end of this you're gonna call yourself one furries okay let's go ahead and have let's have this talk um, which in the case that um, I'll probably end up splitting apart this video um, to be different episodes or even upload this just in its whole i'll probably upload it in its whole and then upload each part separately i don't know i'll think of something to do um but furries okay we need to have a little conversation about the truth about furries okay anthropomorphized characters in general means that anything that is given human characteristics that is not human so for example in the case that you have watched the movie or seen any of the memes Groot is an example of this a modern example an earlier example of this would be Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse both relatively released at the same time also, while we're on that same track of, um, like, furries and, you know, in modern culture, Tom and Jerry, although they didn't really talk until the modern ones made in the 80s to 90s, I believe, quote, uh, don't quote me on that, but correct me in the comments down below or chat, um, the modern Tom and Jerry, they talk. But back in the early ones, they didn't really talk. It's just like Roadrunner. Um, he just went, me, me, and ran off. But Wiley Coyote was technically a furry. While he didn't look like a human or whatnot, he had humanistic characteristics to him. Same with Tom, same with Jerry. They have humanistic characteristics as long as, even though they aren't looking like a, a human. It doesn't matter. That's the sad truth about furries. Or I guess it's not sad, it's the truth about furries.
Um, so, I'm gonna do a more official video, I think, where I actually go to a psychologist and ask them this question. What makes a fetish? Okay? Because a lot of people are saying, if you're a furry, that means that you have a fetish. While technically this is not true by any portion, if I actually do a poll in a furry forum, about 13% will agree with furry porn. However, 1% will agree with fursuit sex. 1% out of an estimated uh, sample size of approximately 500,000 people. 1% would agree with fursuit sex. However, again, 13, probably including the fursuit sex people, would agree with the, um, the whole fact of furry porn or um, Nico porn or any... Um, I'm include. I'm gonna throw myself under the bus here, but My Little Pony porn. Toss that in there while you're at it. All of that is technically anthropomorphized porn. Okay, and I'm sorry, mods, if you want to, um, if there is a mod in uh, any of the chats, um, please go ahead and age restrict the age restrict the stream. Um, if you can, um, I'm sorry. I didn't really expect to get into that that quick, but it's been on my mind. So again, thank you mods. You guys are awesome. Um, if you are there, I don't know. Cause I'm not watching everyone. I'm just watching the Twitch stream, which doesn't seem to have a mod in it. Sadly. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like a mod is lurking. Uh, oh, of course. Viewer list is unavailable. Okay. Um, but anyway, the point is that while a furry is, they may still have different beliefs than you. This is going back to that whole religion thing. If it isn't bothering you, if you aren't being pestered by it, because if you clicked on this video because you are a hater looking for this, that means that you want to initiate a fight. It doesn't mean that it's being brought up. It's you are bringing it up because you are searching for it. You are the one who is actually going out out of your way because I'm sure you as a very, you know, nice business person, you are going out of your way to piss people off just so that you can get your say because you want your opinion. Because you don't feel that however that is, whatever that person is saying, is correct. So you want your say in it. But it's not your choice. It's not your choice. It's not... You aren't the one who can dictate my life. And from being in a life of child abuse, which I don't, I made a promise to someone that I'm not going to get into this, um, but being in a life of child abuse and getting told every single day what I can and cannot do, it gets annoying. And all it does is start a flame war. Because honestly, all you're doing is telling people not to do what they're doing. When you are imposing 
on them and telling them what to do. Yeah, and they, yes, I am, you know, calling the kettle black here, um, and I'm the pot here because I'm telling you not to do it, but that is sane advice for you. Telling people to stop beating off to something. I mean, there are actually people who beat off to hentai or get off to, um, what is it, um, BDSM or all of this. Those are fetishes, yes. So, while it is a porn category, it has not become a fetish because the majority of people will not do it. Again, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research before I release an official video about that. Um, because I really want to actually talk about this um, and stuff. But I want to make sure I get my facts correct because this, the whole furry video, will start a flame war that would burn down Trump's wall. Just saying. Um, so let's see, we've touched on religion, we've touched on politics, we've touched on uh, sex and stuff. We hit all of them. I think we've had a successful show. We've done ads, we've done um, shout outs, we've done, um, we've done ignore the chat for a little bit. Um, we've done watch a random video. Um, we talked a little bit about tech. Um, and I've also been talking to my girlfriend. Damn! We hit all of the points in one show. How many people did I piss off? Well, let's see. Bronies, furries, um, furry haters, brony haters, um, Nikos, Nico haters, um, politicians, people who view politics, um, religion, so that's like, add 10 to that, so that's 30. Sex, so I've offended males and females, that's 32. Shit, man, I've offended everyone today. Damn. I've offended scientists, telling them that they're wrong and that, you know, relativity is not correct. That space isn't the same. It has multiple paradoxes. I mean... What else can I do to piss off someone else? Well, I guess I don't know, um, but I'm going to end up stopping the stream. Um, if you see it come back online, it's because of a glitch in the Joycaster program. But if you want to go ahead and hop over to Hitbox, or if you're already on Hitbox, actually, um, I'm probably going to do a game stream where I stream some Blade and Soul um, as like an after party thing. I'm not really gonna be interacting with chat that much. Um, probably gonna turn off my webcam um, and all that good jazz. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Like um, again, okay, gonna do one more um, one more uh, partner. So, nope, don't want that right now. Um, I hope it's not still playing. I hope it's not. Alright, so, G2A.com. Buy games really cheap with the referral code WolfboyTech or by clicking here, which is G2A.com forward slash R forward slash WolfboyTech. That's how they know that I sent you and how I get 10 cents. Of the total sale so with that out of the way thank you guys if you came out to the stream you guys are awesome um, Derek thank you again contact me on Facebook Messenger or Skype or something you have all those um, that job is open for you um, I want to actually Skype you and talk to you about it um, but 
yes, that is open. Talk to me about it. Um, but yeah, so I want to close this on a good note and switch over. And yeah, so thank you guys if you followed. If you're new, be sure to follow. Subscribe on YouTube, and if you want, subscribe on Hitbox. Um, it's $4.99 a month, but you get a $3.99 G2A gift card. And if you go and use my link, you may get a percentage off. So, you're supporting me getting back and getting a $3.99 gift card. So, all you actually are spending is $1.99. Just saying. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.